Hi guys! Today, we'll tell you about hydraulics and assemble a robotic arm that will work with the help of water. Wait! I brought you something! What? Batteries? What for? I've heard that we're making a robot arm today. You can't do without batteries and electricity! Thanks, Sammy, but we won't need batteries. Like I said, water has its own power, and if we use it correctly, the robot arm will work without electricity. <laughs> we'll see how your robot's going to work without my batteries. That's very bold of you. Guys, we're really going to do without batteries. Our arm is going to work only on water, and hydraulics is going to help us with that. If you've already heard about it, give a thumbs up, and I'll explain how it works. Hydraulics studies the power of water. People have been using it since ancient times, before they invented electricity. If you use this science correctly, even one syringe of water can do many things. We're going to need syringes, cardboard, a glue gun, four glasses of colored water, a pencil and a ruler, pliers, cutters, infusion tubes, a drill, clamps from a hardware store, and... Hi, George! Enemy is down! You're a real warrior, Sammy. Thanks for bringing the skewers. You're welcome, Susie. I'm not only a warrior, but also a great expert on robot building, even hydraulic ones. How's it coming? Okay, guys, the tools are on the table. The expert's also here. Let's get started. First, we need to cut out cardboard pieces. This is the base of our hydraulic arm. First, we'll draw the lines to cut along them. Let me note, as an expert, that first you need to draw not only lines to cut along, but the whole draft. Yes, but we won't waste time on that. This robot arm isn't so difficult. Let's cut the pieces neatly along the lines. Guys, be very careful with the cutter. You'd better ask an adult to help. <gasps> this looks great! It's time to use the drill. We need to make holes like these. Beautiful sounds. Music to my ears. Real music indeed. A bit of magic. <gasps> Guys, we need pieces like the ones you see now on the table. What table? This is the construction site of the new, unique, amazing hydraulic robot arm number one in the galaxy. Oh, great name, Mr. Expert. Now please move aside. Fine, but keep in mind that you're under strict supervision of a hydraulic robot expert. I will, Sammy. And we'll continue. We need to insert the skewers in a certain way, connecting pairs of cardboard pieces, like this. We'll cut one skewer. <gasps> oh, that clipper is so sharp. Be careful. And secure it with glue. There. And we'll attach two shorter pieces on the other end. The process is similar. Then I'll secure them with small squares to help the structure move. Hmm. Yep. Something like that. Look, guys, there should be space for syringes between the pieces. Now let's assemble the base for our arm. These will be the supports. We'll attach them on both sides and secure them with cardboard squares. There it goes. Ta-da! We'll need hot glue to attach the base. Guys, be very careful with the glue gun. And here comes the base! A gun? Nonsense! A spear! That's what real heroes choose! Oh, you're a weapon expert, too! Guys, look what we made! Our future arm should move like this. Sturdy and elegant. Now, we need to make holes in syringes. Like this. Ask an adult to help you with this step. We'll need the clamps now. What's that, Susie? That's a clamp, Sammy. They can be found in a hardware store. It's a very useful thing for building hydraulic robot arms. We need to secure the clamps on the syringe, like this. And tighter. And we'll insert a skewer into the second loop to adjust it. Let's remove the skewer for now and cut off the excess. Remember, guys, don't cut yourselves. All right, guys, time to attach the syringe to our structure. Carefully insert the skewer through the walls and the opening in the syringe. Do the same with the second skewer and the clamp loop. Attach the second syringe in the same way. Voila! Moving on. We'll need these cardboard pieces for the arm itself. Pause the video to write down the measurements. First, we'll bend metal rods with the help of pliers to get this kind of hook. 
Once again, it's a step that requires adult supervision. Be careful! <laughs> Can't do it! You're so strong, Sue! Aw, thanks, Sammy! Let's insert the hook into the last opening. Take it slow here. Now, let's skewer the foot and the square. This looks a bit like a canapé. Click and a drop of glue. There! That's what we should get, guys. Isn't that difficult? What do you say, Sammy? Right. An expert inspection has confirmed it. This part is assembled correctly. Good job, Sue. And this is your payment for the first part of the project. Thanks, Sam. We've got more work ahead of us. Let's not wait and start working on the rest of our robot. I'm watching you. Sammy! Now I need your help. As usual. What's the matter? I need a stick from this ice cream. Can you eat it and give the stick to me? Okay, I'll help you, Susie. You can't do without me. Oh, great ice cream. Always happy to help, Sue. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. I can always count on you. We need to bend this cardboard piece with this stick. Like this. And make holes with a skewer. One. And... Two. Now, let's connect them to the grabbing mechanism with skewers. And done! We only need to apply strips of glue onto the fingers of our robot. We need that to make sure the items don't slip off. Now, let's connect both parts of the structure. We need the glue gun again. And we remember to use the glue carefully, right? <laughs> and then, we'll connect the pieces. Nice and slow. This is what you should get! Great! Now on to the final part! That's not all! Endless construction! Endless! I'm so tired! Oh, Sammy, we're almost done. You can rest. Oh, you'll be in charge then. I won't let you down. I'll secure the syringe right here. Great, it fits! We've made openings in the plunger in advance. And now we'll insert the metal rods here. Now we only need to make the base. Wow, our robot arm is coming out so big! To make the structure sturdy, we'll need a sturdy base made of two thick cardboard pieces. Let's apply some glue onto one of them. A thin strip along the surface should be enough. And press the other piece well. Done! Easy peasy! Now we need to secure the arm on the stand. Huh, how should I do it? Something's missing. Hmm, maybe this? Or this? Uh, wait, that's what I need. Batteries! What? What? Batteries? You said we didn't need them! Sam, well, you're the expert here and you were right. We need the batteries, but we won't use them the usual way. Not the usual way. Then how? Oh, I see. <laughs> That's very clever, Sue. <laughs> yes, Sammy. We needed the batteries, but not for the motor. We'll use water as the motor. The more you talk about it, the weirder it sounds. Guys, I made this piece. It will move our base around. Let's set it here. Let's assemble the robot control panel. We need to connect the piece made of two sticks with the syringe using a skewer. Like this. Let's attach four of these on the panel. One by one. We'll secure the tip of the syringe with a metal arc. This is what we should get. And now I'll show you how it works. Sam, give me a glass of water, please. I'm the boss here, actually. Oh, I remember, boss. Let's get some water into the syringe. And connect a tube to it. It's very delicate work. Now, let's move the water to the other end of the tube. And connect it to the other syringe. There. That's the magic of water, guys. <laughs> Now, let's connect the control panel and the arm the same way. We'll attach each colored tube to the syringes on the arm. Why all these colors, you may ask? <laughs> That's simple. Each syringe moves a certain part of the robot arm. And the colors make it easier to remember which syringe controls which part. <laughs> See? 
<laughs> Look! Sammy! The motor of our robot is a hydraulic press! Water makes it move! Wow! So cool! <sighs> wow! <laughs> wow, Susie! I can't believe my eyes! And no batteries needed! Please, now lift the bottle! Let's try it, Sam! Yes, Susie! Push the syringes! Let's lift this bottle finally! Our colorful <laughs> control levers move perfectly! Move to the right! Left! Come on! Is it really happening? Yay! It Yay! We control water! Yes, Sam! We can use this robot when we run out of all the batteries in the house! I doubt it, Sue. I always have a stash. <sighs> Amazing! Well, Sammy, how was your binge watching of movies about the future? There were so many unusual and useful things! Sometimes a bit scary, but mostly useful! Technologies of the future are so cool! Hmm, well, what about the present? Go on, tidy up in here, and I'll think of what to show our viewers today. Oh, if I had a cleaning robot, it would tidy up in a zap! And I would continue watching movies about the future! Hmm, what to do today? Sam, what are you doing here? I asked you to tidy up. It's not him. I'm Sam from the future. Here, Sue, give it to me from the present. But why don't you give it to yourself? I can't meet with myself. Goodbye, Sue. <laughs> but, Sam, ah, I have so many questions. Sam! Did I hear things or uh, were you calling me? Uh, well, almost you. You from the future. What? I've missed myself? <sighs> But, uh, you brought yourself a gift. Oh, oh, really? Wow! Is it something from the future? I want to know what it is. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> Looks like a car! <gasps> Look, here's a manual! Right, let's put it here. Hmm. Start with the wheels. That sounds right. This should go here. And this part... There. Aha! And repeat! Awesome! Now, we'll start with the engine. Phew! Phew! Now I believe you even more. Well, about the visit from the future. Really? This car works on salt water! Where else can you see something like that? Maybe the future is already here. Hmm, I haven't thought about it from that angle. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm connecting wires. The black one huh. goes here, and the red one there. Don't confuse them. Right, and now I'll put the cover on. Now let's get it moving! Look, these parts let the car move on salt water. We need to assemble them like this. That here, and that right on top. Um, will mm -hmm. it fly? Oh, no, Sammy. I think flying cars are still far away. Aww. Okay, I'll insert the engine of the future into the car and drip in some salt water. Three, Three two, two, one, one go! go! The car moves on salt water all by itself! So guys, did you like our car of the future? Give a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. What if Sam from the future pays another visit? And, and, write in the comments which future technologies you are looking forward to. Bye!